tried to seduce. It was your problem now. Do try not to lag behind. Lafayette. Ah, monsieur. Uh, this lady requires my attention. Marquis. Your attention is required elsewhere. I assure you, my lady, that only the vow of fidelity prevents me from missing. Oh, Marquis, you must have leave now. Fortunately, my lady, my duty compels me to stay. <laughs> All right, Pip. Fetching, was she not? I hadn't noticed. That is because you are not a Frenchman. You are the most American Frenchman I ever know. I am a lover of liberty, mon ami. A proper knight must learn to curb his passion. Without passion, monsieur, a man cannot fight. You do not fight men, Marquis. Men, half breeds, what does it matter? Vive la liberté! She's kind of a bitch. <clears throat> Marquis, you and Lady Green take that entrance. I'll go through this one, sweet friend. You know this one. Okay, here we go. I still have no bullets for this. I'm going to be in trouble here in a minute if I have to fight anybody with no bullets. Damn 
Come on, come on, come on. Mmm, stab your ass. That's on. Yeah, it stuck it in and twisted. Oh, where's your partner at? for you. Oh. Now you let him get away. Come on. Monsieur, what happened? I slew most of them. The last one got away. The grain, I need your arm. Come. I'll head up the street level and keep after him. You should go that way and hit him off. Understood. Come on, come on, giant dog running through London. Gotta get him. Watch out, watch out. like that, son. Everyone all right? Yes. First of all, we've neutralized the threat on our side. Good. I managed to capture one of the half-breeds. Rendezvous back at Regent. Acknowledge. Let's go. I'm just going to leave a dead and naked dude in the street. Sir! What should we do with him? Westminster to the catacombs. We'll deal with him later. Ah, uh, Sir Percival. I thought the order of Her Majesty's Royal Knights might be... <coughs> we had reason to suspect a rebel incursion, Commissioner. An elementary conjecture. In that event, perhaps this might be of interest. Purely circumstantial, of course. I call it evidence. Well, circumstantial evidence can be a tricky animal, my dear Sir Percival. You may think it is pointing at one thing, but shift your point of view slightly, and you may find it pointing in an equally uncompromising manner at something entirely different. Please, me. Well, first the rebellion, and then this Jack, and the Ripper murders, and then this. Strange, don't you think, that Whitechapel has become the epicenter of our recent conundrums? We must examine every clue now, you see. We meet in council two days hence. If you would do us the honor of presenting your findings. You can expect me at Westminster. Over here, sir. You'll excuse me. Where have you been? I've been in traffic. Easy eye. What of the other half-breeds that escaped through Hyde Park? We must pursue them. No. It is our devoir to pursue them, Monsieur. Who? We are not looking for Anglais on the Newport continent. 
Portrait de Maléquis, c'est la réplique par un moment en pas de temps. Oui, mon général. Vous vous dégagez de votre advice. Je suis sûr que vous l'appréciez, mais pour le temps being, ça doit rester un policeman. Bien sûr. Something's in this. The envoy of the White Chapel is known to give safe harbor to the rebellion. Precisely what troubles me. Why would so many half breeds be found in Bedlam? Some things we need to find out for ourselves. You heard, Commissioner Doyle. It's a police investigation. Knights do not relinquish their authority to bureaucrats. Percival is right. This matter should be brought before the council. This is a long cutscene, man. I don't know what to say. Our order has remained steadfast in its sacred mission to preserve the balance between man and half breed. Such was the quest of our founder, King Arthur. May his name be forever resplendent. Is it true? Did the Lord Chancellor fight by Arthur's side? That is the legend. Today, that balance is threatened. With grave upset by a new contagion, the rebellion. As long as its campaign of anarchy and terror is allowed to continue, the plague of lichen infestation that has infected our city will only grow more intolerable. Well, the Lord Chancellor will thus agree to the urgency of a mission into Whitechapel. Whitechapel is a matter for the civil authority. When the noble Arthur sought to contest the truage with the Roman Emperor Lucius, he did not trouble himself with issues of jurisdiction. Do not presume to quote history to me, Sir Percival. I've seen more of history than you shall ever know. I remind the knights here assembled that the threat to this order comes not only from without, but within. We must stand vigilant together. Lest our ranks be poisoned by those who seek the destruction of all we hold sacred. No one is immune from the rebels' influence. Surely the Lord Chancellor does not mean to question Sir Percival's loyalty. This order has long appreciated Sir Percival's counsel. But the current disruption calls for caution and concerted effort, not rash action. Sir Percival has caused Lord Chancellor. The situation in Whitechapel may need to be addressed. Does Lord Darwin speak with the blessing of the peers? Lord Hastings, Lord Dunglass. He does, Lord Chancellor. Perhaps the question should be put to the council. Very well. What says the order of Her Majesty's royal knights in the matter of Whitechapel? Aye or nay? Nay. The nays have it. This council is dismissed. Our order grows too prudent, Grayson. We wither away from this inaction. Leave it, Sebastian. Caution be damned. Percival is most agitated. We should learn it is best not to cross him when his mind is set on something. That was a long cutscene. All right. This dude's just sitting here reading a book the whole time. A lot of slow walking. How many of us will make the journey to America? Uh, Lord Barrett, Lord Darwin, and myself. I've heard many great things about the Agamemnon Lord Hastings. Uh, she is the finest United India Company has ever built. I can promise you a pleasant and speedy journey across the Atlantic. 
Can we expect your presence at the launch? Sir Lucan. It would be my honor to see you off on your maiden voyage, my lords. Sir Lucan, if I may. If you permit me, my lord. Is to everything. My opinion is immaterial. The council has spoken. Few dared countermand your father's express wishes. Need I remind you that we all serve at the Lord Chancellor's pleasure? You are the Knight Commander! I can see reason. You think an incursion into a rebel stronghold is reasonable? I consider it an acceptable risk. One for which you'd be willing to accept full responsibility should unforeseen circumstances arise. Let what befalls be upon my head. No one else's. Whitechapel remains off limits. That is official. You have my thanks, Sir Luca. Your thanks I have no need. Any results? As the Knight Commander wishes. Well, we're going in. Most excellent. I'm not talking about Whitechapel, but my Your brother thought fit to permit us a reconnaissance. Secure the necessary materials. Isabeau, a word. Tell me, monsieur, about the Lord Chancellor. What is it, Marquis? Sir Lucan and Lady Egwene were adopted by him, yes? As they were. Why would he bring them into such struggle? Perhaps he wanted to regain a semblance of the humanity he lost. When time came to join the Order, the choice was theirs to make. Regardless, I would not wish this life to my children. Marquis, we need to hurry. Oui, mon général, avec plaisir. Monsieur. Friend Mallory has always been something of a rogue operative. I've never known a better man. Still, I shall rely on you to be a, I call it a sobering influence. Sebastian and I have long been partners. I trust him with my life. A little restraint would not be ill-advised. Do you look after my sister, won't you? No man in the realm can keep Isabel from danger when she's of the mind. Well, you say true. That's a brother to do, eh? Good luck and Godspeed. <laughs>